Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing an art journal page using the Indigo Blue Vivid Eco Refills as watercolours. So I'm back working in my eight inch journal. So I've got a couple of the um, Indigo Blue Vivid ink sprays. I've got Robin Hood, which is the greeny colour. I've got Maid Marian, which is a beautiful kind of lilac, pinky, purpley kind of colour, which isn't usually my favourite, but I'm going to work with it anyway. And we've got Little John, which is the blue. So what I want to do is I want to create a kind of watercolour-y background. Get rid of those, I don't need those. That was for a previous project. I haven't tidied up yet. So I'm just going to shake up my little water spritzer bottle and I'm just going to put some water down onto the page just so that there is something for the ink to work into. I've got a couple of clips on this just to stop it from, um, from buckling. So we're going to start off with adding a little bit of that Maiden Marion in, I think. So... And this is just going to be a few, just a couple of drops. And you get the sound effects as well, look. There we go. Look how beautiful they are. And then if you lift the book up a little bit and then just squirt a little bit more, we get a nice kind of like diffused sprinkle kind of effect. So that's going to be the first colour. You can see the particles of the colour. If you wanted to, you could come in with a brush and just start working them if you want. But I'm just going to pretty much, well, apart from doing that little bit there, <laughs> a little bit more water, just give it a little bit more movement. A little bit of drippage, maybe a bit of up, a bit of up and down. Okay, and then I'm going to give it a blast with my heat gun. That kind of lilac -y colour is kind of, well, it's dry now pretty much. It's, it feels a little bit damp, but actually the page is still wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just spritz a little bit more, just in a couple of areas around the page. But I also want to paint that because this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-mix it a little bit just off to the side. There we go. On my little paint mat. So that was the Maid Marion. So let's just grab the little John now which is the blue. And I'm just going to put just a couple of drops. That's all we need. There we go. And then just wet the page where we want it to go. Just so it kind of starts to blend its way in. And because we're using blue and that kind of lilac -y purple, purple is one of those kind of cross-border colours which can work with either cools and warms. So it's kind of an in-betweeny. You could literally just do this with your fingers. I'm using a brush, but to be honest, you don't really need it. And I'm just going to just spritz it a little bit just to help it kind of diffuse and manoeuvre. Let's just have a little bit in that top corner up there. I'll just let it do what it wants really. I'm not particularly thinking about any hard and fast rule of thirds, visual triangles. I'm just letting it kind of do what it wants to be nice. We can just get that to connect across the page there, look. Okay, that should do us. Okay, just have a little bit of a clean and tidy up. Rinse off the brush. Lemon and ginger today. 
They're having a few sinus problems, but you don't really want to know about that, do you? <laughs> That's all dry now. And I love those areas around the edges of the, the water where the pigment has kind of wicked to the edge and then stayed. I love those kind of swirly bits in the colour. Absolutely love it to bits. Right, so I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time with the Little John. So not the Little John, the Robin Hood, sorry. So the Robin Hood is the green. Now, because we've already got blue down on the page, then adding a splodge of green might just turn it a little bit turquoisey tealy. If that's the case, I'm all right with that. This kind of Robin Hood green is a kind of more along the line. It's more of a Viridian green than anything, which means that there are a little touches of blue in there as well. So I don't want to add a huge amount. So I'm going to go just there because we've got purple down already, which will reactivate. So we are going to get some weird colours coming up. So we might get there. Uh, look at that look straight away because of the blue in the purple we're already getting those kind of tealy colours coming through so what I'm also going to do is just add a few inky splatters throughout Here we go. That'll do. I'm just soaking that up quick because I'm bound to get my elbow in it. I always do. Right, let me get that dried off. That's all dry now. And what I adore about these kind of backgrounds is that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be able to replicate that same pattern. I might get something similar, but I will never be able to get that very same pattern again. It will be unique to this page. So what I want to do now is just take some clean water and I'm going to just throw in some splatters in there as well. Just like we would do if we were ghosting on an inked background. I just want to add a little bit more texture. And then I'm just going to let that sit for a second or two. Or for a minute or two. Well, I've splattered the water everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to let it sit for another minute, so I'll join you when I'm ready to take off that excess water. Right, it's been about a minute or so, so I've just got some paper towel. And I'm just going to dab. Lift it straight up. Just press down lift it straight up and you can see the areas where I've taken it up so you've added an extra just a tiny little bit of extra dimension and depth into that background and you can do this as many times as you want there we go so I'm going to need to get that dried off completely and I'll be ready to start adding on a few focal points. I've put the journal page to one side and I've brought out these flowers. Now you may remember these if you saw uh, my recent video on the rule of thirds, the little demo that I did about the rule of thirds. Um, and I did say I had all these flowers left over and I didn't know what to do with them. So today I'm putting them to use. So I did speak to Kay, um, who has agreed next year to release a stamp set of these flowers, just these flowers uh, in the different sizes. So you'll get 
the, the large one, actually the one that she's done is actually bigger than this one now. Um, but obviously it can't be for this year because we're too late into the season now, but it will be for next year. Um, in the meantime, if you do want to do something similar to this, I've created my own kind of digital version of these flowers and put them on my website and you can buy them in a digi download. There's two sheets. Um, you can just literally just print them, cut them out and then colour them like I'm going to do today. So, but in the meantime, you'll just have to wait until Kay, and Kay um, releases the stamp um, for these flowers. So, <laughs> yeah, she was like, really? I'm like, yes, please. I want, I need. So, but hey ho. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of drops of the Much Miller. Now, the Much Miller is a kind of, um, I'd say burgundy red, but Bordeaux red maybe, more of a, a wine kind of colour. Yeah, um, which I think is going to go better with the background. So for that, I'm just going to take a small brush, take a little bit of the colour, and I'm going to watercolour or paint directly onto the flowers. And I'm not being... Um, I don't want to be like really, really exact. If it goes over the line, it goes over the line. It's fine. I'm happy with that kind of um, imperfection. I don't want it to look perfect. So first of all, I'm just going to use the much around the outside. I'll do a couple. There we go. So I'll do that one. I'll do one of the biggies. And you literally just hold it in your hand while you're doing this. Just using a smaller paintbrush because I've got effectively, he says, um, more control, but you know, I've got a bit of a shaky hand today because, like I said, <clears throat> I'm not 100% well today. I'm having serious sinus issues, which has given me headaches and all the rest of it. So, I am, I don't mind quite honestly, I'm drugged up to the eyeballs today, painkiller wise, and antihistamines and all the rest of it. We had a, a, a really kind of wet day the other day, um, or a day or so ago, and then at the day after it was blisteringly hot, and then it was windy, so we've got so much pollen in the air at the moment, because all of the, the, the later flowers, the successional ones, are starting to come out, so things like the Rebecca's and all that kind of stuff. So we're getting that second flush of the flowers. So all the spring and the early summer flowers are finished. But all the later summer flowers are all are all now in full bloom, especially in our garden anyway, which means we're getting that second flush of pollen in the air. Second flush of hay fever. All right, so I'll just do these couple These three, if you like. Okay, so we've got those. Leave that on the mat. And then I'm going to take the next colour, which is the Alan Adale, which is the orange. And I'm going to put a couple of little blobs of that down. You really, really don't need much with these these inks at all you really really don't and then i'm going to come in and just watercolor in pretty much just coloring in with the inks like i said i'm not particularly bothered about getting them exact or perfect. You can grab some water if you want to, make them a little bit lighter. There 
I can see the lines in the paper on that one. I'll just do this this one in this colourway. Okay, and then <clears throat> you can see I have them in the pink, and then I'm going to bring out the, the Loxley yellow couple of little blobettes of that. And then they can go in the centers there. You see, you don't really need a huge amount. I nearly did all of those just on that one. I mean, if you wanted to, you could kind of like add in a little bit of the yellow around the middle just to kind of blend it a bit. But like we did with the background, you could also splatter with a little bit of water to get a little bit of texture, but we'll come back to that. Right, so I'm going to do all of these in this kind of colour way. And I don't mind that you can see some of the white around the edges, that's all fine. Um, while they're a little bit damp, you can do a little bit of maybe shaping if you want to. But I'm going to go away and finish doing the rest of these and then I'll be right back. Okay, so that's all of the flowers painted. So I just need to get rid of my water because I'm going to end up drinking that because it looks like my ginger tea. <laughs> mm. So I'll quick tidy up and then we'll come straight back and we'll start gluing some flowers down. Okay, so we're back to glue down. So I thought, I um, don't normally do this, but I will do today. Let's think about that rule of thirds again. Let's have our main cluster here, which basically means we'll have a smaller balanced cluster just over here at this side. So I'm just going to stick these flowers down uh, with glue dots today. So let's do it that way. So there's a bit of movement, so I'll need a smaller one. Right. I picked up these glue dots the other day at a local craft store and I thought, ooh, glue dots. <laughs> let's let's do those. Keep one of those and one of those from a smaller cluster. Um I thought yeah, I'll use those. And then they're absolutely sticky as I don't know what. So, which is what you expect from a glue dot, I suppose. Or what you need from a glue dot. That's all right. Then we'll do... Do I want another big one? I thought I had more of the smaller ones, but... Maybe I don't. Well, that's okay. We don't use them all, we don't use them all. I think that's fine. That's fine.
as compositions go. And stick that one there. And then we'll have the other one coming down there. Yeah, I think we'll just have it there. Glue dots. Okay. okay, so main cluster there, small cluster there, and then we'll put the quote, our little quote. So I've gone through, um, I can't remember what these are called, the big chat, small chat back chat whatever you want to call them really the chat stickers from tim holtz got loads of them um you know some of them i've got them and that must be from a seasonal set because that's all ghosts schools ghosts and goblins ghostly greetings and then from sea to sa shining sea so that's obviously from america the rare isn't it um okay so this one isn't right okay like that one live create tell the story that will do nicely so that should theoretically stick and we'll put that along that line that carries on with that line of thirds along there and we won't need those two large flowers up there but i think that will do just nicely now do we pep it up with a bit of black do we or do we just leave it for the time being because i can never find my black that's there look um yeah we've got black in the flowers so so let's kind of do a now some people says some people like to go around their watercolour doodles with the black pen as well to de-embark those but I think it might be a bit too much if I did that and um, I could put splatters in there but I kind of want to leave a little bit of space let that background shine through we've got that fantastic kind of contrast between the blues and the orange so that gives a really nice kind of pop of colour so do you know what today I think I'm going to just leave it as it is. Um, I'm going to, for once, mm, 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 no, I'll put my signature on my little block over here. Which is what I've started doing now. Just put my initials in a little reserve. And what date is it today? <laughs> is it the 20th today? It might be. Let's just pretend it is. There we go, 28, 23. And I'm going to call that done. I'm going to call that done. I don't know whether I'm going to keep those glue dots. Um, perhaps they work better if you put them in the box and act like a dispenser. Or they're just going to stick every time you pull them out. Look, Sometimes they do that with the boxes. You pull down and it dispenses a dot, but that just looks like it's every time one comes out, it's dragging it. But never mind. The video's not about glue dots, is it? So let's not get distracted. Anyway, as I was saying, so that's going to be my art journal page for today. He says quickly. The, the, the balance was doing me head in. Hang on. Rip. Last minute change. There we go. <laughs> I might have to do another smaller flower, but at a later day, I'll alter it later. That's better. Okay, so like I said, I hope you've enjoyed watching me create this art journal page today. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up because it really does help the channel. Don't forget, you can share the video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. 
Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.